Salamat Siang. So far, our study of MATLAB has been mostly focused on vocabulary, learning the names of different things. Also, all of the codes discussed have been sequential, simply carrying out each command in order from top to bottom. Now we will begin learning things that are more properly called programming, in which we make decisions with branches and loops. These decisions will be guided by logical statements, which is the main focus of this video. First, we will discuss the general logical data type. Then, we will see how this data is generated using relational operators. This is the chart we have seen before that highlights the various data types in MATLAB. On the left, we see the logical data type. This type can hold only two possible values, true or false. True is represented as a 1 and false as a 0. This data is usually created from some type of relational operator. For example, w greater than 4 would return either a true or a false depending on the value of w. We can directly define logical data. One method is to assign the word true or false to a variable, as seen here for a1 and b1. We could also use a built-in function called logical to convert from numeric data to logical data. The number 0 would be converted to logical false, as seen with b2. Any other number would be converted to logical true, as seen with a2. In this next example, we first see how the logical function can convert an entire matrix. A now holds four separate true values. Then we use A as part of this multiplication. Multiplication is an arithmetic operation, not a logical one. Five times true doesn't mean anything. There's no such thing as extra true. So automatically and behind the scenes, MATLAB converts these four true values into numeric ones and then does the multiplication. It is convenient for us that MATLAB has this capability to automatically adapt. Here's the set of six relational operators available in MATLAB. Equal to is indicated with a double equal sign. This is not the same as a single equal sign. What does a single equal sign mean? It means the assignment operator. Don't confuse the two. A double equal sign is asking the question, does this value equal that value? Not equal to is indicated with a tilde followed by an equal sign. Greater than uses the right pointing arrow. Greater than or equal to uses the right pointing arrow followed by an equal sign. A similar pattern holds for less than. On the right are some examples of using the relational operators. At the top, we first ask the question, is 3 less than 4? That is true, so then we store that result into A using the assignment operator, or single equal sign. This result will display in the command window as a 1, although it is stored in memory as a true. For B, we see that 5 greater than or equal to 9 is a false statement. For C, we ask the question, is A not equal to B? Well, A is true and B is false, so A does not equal B and so the statement is true. Lastly, we see that we can do computations before using the relational operator. The arithmetic is done first, then the relational operation, and then the assignment operation. In this case, 10 is equivalent to 10, so the result is true. A word of warning when using the equivalency operator. MATLAB, like any computer program, produces rounding errors. The double data type is extremely precise to about 16 significant figures, but it is not perfectly precise. So an irrational number like pi cannot be perfectly represented. We know from trigonometry that sine of 2 pi should be equal to 0. Mathematically that is correct, but when we ask MATLAB if they are equivalent, it returns a false value due to the rounding error. To avoid errors related to this, consider using this difference approach. It checks to see if two values are close enough. First, we compute the difference between the two values of interest. Then, we take the absolute value to ensure the difference is positive. Then, we check if the difference is less than some small threshold value. If the difference is very small, then the numbers are close enough and the result is true. We can apply a relational operator across multiple values at once. 
Here, we evaluate if each value in A is larger than 4. For those values that are, a true is filled into the corresponding matrix. Otherwise, a false is filled in. Is 4 bigger than 4? No, it's not, so we see a false in the lower left corner. This matrix of true and false values is known as a logical mask. We'll explore the uses of logical masks in a later lesson.